Kenny, thanks for joining us. Another draw. What's your thoughts on the performance and the results? I thought defensively we did well, and, and we needed to today. You know, particularly with Miller, they can really stretch you. And, and um, you know, my, my defenders there were certain individual moments where we did great and did very, very well. So, you know, in terms of the clean sheet and the way we battled away, and the keeper come for some good crosses. You know, that, that was a, a positive. But simply on the ball and then going forward, we, we didn't do anywhere near enough. Um, we didn't really cause them problems. We've been good at that in terms of uh, being able to create chances, get get hold of the ball, uh, be able to get in behind them, play some combination work. And, and, and in the end there, you know, create goal-scoring opportunities, which were few and far between today. In, se- in uh, central midfield, I didn't think we were onto the second balls sharp enough. As, as a unit, it didn't quite, you know, work for us in there necessarily. And, you know, they were the ones, particularly at the start of the second half there, that were driving through in those, in those areas. So a tough day for us, uh, um, a, a good attitude and, and a, a battling performance at the back that has got us a clean sheet and a point. But, but similarly, we have been better than that, a lot better than that. And, and, um, uh, and, and for us, you know, going forward, we didn't have our either confidence, cohesion, uh, ability to make chances there today. It wasn't quite right. Uh, decision-making process in certain situations uh, lost momentum rather than gained momentum particularly in the second half I don't recall the goalkeeper having a save to make or even a shot on target no definitely as I said we couldn't get away and get into people uh, and you know their you know their centre backs were, were mobile as well you know and our combination play to slide the ball down the side and then get away into the 1v1 situations wasn't there today. We made the wrong decisions. And, and um, you know, for, for us anyway, going forward, it was a very frustrating day where we created very little. What was your thoughts at half-time? The double change, but also a change of formation? Yeah, definitely, and try to get some momentum in the second half. And, you know, I did think that um, get maybe you know, Theo out onto the left wing and, and get him the ball a little bit, but he didn't necessarily get him involved or into you know the good areas that he's got into and 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 also you know we have players like Paul Smith on the bench that can that can help us uh Craig Clay just did need to come into midfield to get us more competitive in there because we weren't competitive enough decisions didn't seem to go late in the wins away from the referee no and and you know we can look at quite a lot of those and and but but similarly you know I concentrate on my own team you know everybody can see you know we were it was tough for us today in terms of the the, the, the ref several decisions that, that are you know baffling to me definitely and and were to the rest of the stadium. But similarly, you know I don't come off from a game and concentrate too much on the referee either. We have to con- concentrate on ourselves. You know we've got a, a, a big week ahead where still two of our next three are at home and we want to get some tempo and momentum at home if we can and and you know, wherever, wherever possible now back to our best. They don't come much harder than the leaders for us, Green Rovers, who are here on Tuesday night. No, but it will test us, and that's a good test for us as well. And, you know, they've been working away for three or four years at the top end of this division and done it very well as well. And as you say, so far this season, look both um, uh, uh, powerful and cohesive in their football and, and, and will be a test for us. But similarly, it's a game that I'm looking forward to. You know, we have to show the same defending and battling qualities that we did against the likes of Jamal Matt. But, but similarly then, come up with more going forward and, and uh, you know, for our, for our passing and our play, uh, be mo- more cohesive to create the amount of chances that's um, got us the goals early in the season. What would you have learned from this afternoon's performance? Yeah, you know, I do feel that you know our concentration, our, our, you know, we're at, at times expecting things to happen rather than going and creating, and, and also, you know, our decision making is it's quite fragile at times in terms of footballers, and, and it's the right balance really between encouragement but 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 critical information that can improve them. Before the game, I saw both Adam Thompson and Cannon Marley warming up. Is it possible that they could be in contention either Tuesday or Saturday? No, I don't think so. We'll be, we'll be looking for, you know, friendly, stroke friendlies for them uh, towards the end of the month. I think, you know, for, for them realistically, it, it'll probably be into November before they're there for first team selection. Maybe Callum Riley might be the last game or two of October, but certainly not Tuesday night, no. Any other injuries picked up today? Because it was no, a bruising was, affair. Yeah, it was, and there was a lot of competition in there, and there always is in League Two, and you have to stand up to it. So at, at the moment, it does seem like uh, you know we have a, a clean bill of health, which is good. A lot was made by the fact that players didn't take the knee before the game against Barrow. They did this afternoon. Is it, yeah. is it a decision you've been involved in? Yeah, and certainly the players, you know, they do feel at some stage 
that it needs to move on. That's you know possibly their feeling, but 100% behind the you know the movement and 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 want to as professional back footballers back everybody. Uh, um, you know we've got quite a, an experienced. Uh, um, uh, uh, dressing room as well, you know, in terms of you know Darren Prattley and Omar Beckles, people like that that have you know been around a long time, so have very good opinions. And and you know, there's it's, it's, it's not necessarily a situation where it's clear. There's 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 um, there's quite a lot to it, and and uh, you know they're interesting people to talk to as well.